Hello, Kevin. This is going to be in the form of a video letter to you. I'm going to share it on my Facebook post. And uh, you can share it or not share it to your really, uh, I don't know if they're friends of yours, but they're really, really dumb shits. So I was going to talk to you a little bit about um, masks because they're they're all carried away with oh the social good oh. and uh so what do we know about masks and i was going to show you some masks i was actually going to post this generally to everybody i'll put them right here so i can get to them but um we'll see if well i'll just tell you about them rather than ask questions i was going to I was going to put them up in a question, do pictures, which one's the best, and all that kind of stuff. So, this mask, when I had the COVID, uh, and I went in, uh, had the heart thing, and wound up in IC, ICU, this mask is the one the VA gave me. And it's got the little lines on it and all that stuff. I have no idea how effective this mask is. I know it's not an M95. So the probability is not very effective. And in the world of effective, this is a mask that looks really nice. A friend made it for me. I've had pneumonia twice. I've got a bad actually I have a lung condition which is probably why the COVID got me the last time and put me in the uh, hospital with the high troponin level but anyway it's got the lines on it it looks good and all that it's made out of a mesh material that is really thin and it's easy to breathe through so this is one I can actually use but it's it's worthless except when you go out in public people see you have a mask on and most of them don't know shit about it I mean Kevin they don't know squat and so they say oh we've got a mask everything must be okay this mask is one that was actually uh, made for me uh, by a relative and I like to wear it when I have to wear a mask. It actually goes this way. Because when I'm, especially when I'm doing stuff with the VA and things like that, it's got the military look and all that. It's thicker. It's a lot thicker than the other masks. And I imagine it probably provides a degree of protection. Uh, for me or for other people, maybe, maybe not. This mask I've had is the one you go and you buy off the counter. It's the one they give you in various eateries and things like that. It's worthless. Um, if anybody were to go to, of course, your dumb shit people, they'll never go to the science and actually check it out. But if you, were, if you were to go and research the mask and all that, it's worthless. This is the one most people wear. And uh, Fauci or whatever Dr. F's name really is, is, uh, well, just recently, a week ago, he said, oh, you should wear two masks. Everybody should wear two masks. A should statement. It's kind of like a can statement. A should statement is a moral statement. What one should do. And it's a projection. So if someone else doesn't believe that, then why should they do it? It has no substance or base to it. One of the things I liked about teaching the gun classes that you set up for me is... Most of the people that came to that and to your classes were pretty conservative. But for the ones that were so conservative, what we maybe call liberal, all of them had common sense. 
we taught in the class common sense, common sense, common sense. No amount of education can compensate for the lack of common sense. And so I read through your thread again with all these uh, dumb shit people on it. And uh, I was amazed at how consistent they are in being dumb shits. You know, the question, the real question is, what about the science? What's wrong with taking a look at science? What's wrong with all of these masks? And that is, they don't work. And almost every mask out there that everybody's wearing doesn't work. Oh, we're protected, we're protected. Bullshit. The, the protection, I had, I had a friend who had a friend, a double friend, I'm not going to use his name here because I'm making it public. He had a friend going to Mexico and went down there uh, a little while ago and came back with some of that hydrochloroquinine or whatever it is that Trump advocated early on. What his friend found when he was down in Mexico is that when they get the COVID, they take the quinine and uh, they take it at the first symptoms and by the second day when, when they've taken the second or third tablet or whatever form it's in, I actually I don't know, but by the second day it's gone. So there you have it. You want to wear a mask or do you want to take uh, what is now a prescription drug in the United States but you buy across the counter down there in Mexico you don't have to have a prescription or do you want to take a drug that costs five bucks less than the masks I've had the COVID twice and I have some of that uh, quinine stuff coming and I should have it relatively soon. So, as you know, because you've seen some of them, I make, uh, I make walking sticks. I picked up a rock, a really nice rock, expensive rock. I don't remember what it's called. But it's a skull, green skull head. And I'm going to put it on a walking stick and carry it around once in a while as long as this COVID, COVID thing's going on. I had another, uh, another thing to show you here. So I was wondering about the COVID and I was looking into my crystal ball for the future, which I also got for a walking stick. Because I thought, oh, maybe uh, since nobody wants to listen to science, and nobody wants to follow the scriptures, maybe we could uh, use this. So I ordered this, and what I found in the center of it, and I don't know if you can see it, I'm going to put it up there, it's out of the light, but it has our solar system in the middle of it. The sun and all the plant, planets at the various locations, I found that just fascinating. And uh, I was thinking about, we're here today and gone tomorrow in this mortality, but eventually we're here today and gone tomorrow in the bigger scheme of things as well. So what about this COVID thing? What the crystal ball did not show me is the future. So I got one, a different crystal ball, a lot bigger. It's not glass. And you can't see the fractures in it. It's polished obsidian. I looked into it. And I said, what's our future? And looking into it, it looks pretty dark. <laughs> and so that made me think about your dumb shit friends again. They, they think they're going to protect themselves with uh, a mask. Well... Maybe two masks now. What about three masks? How about six masks? Oh, they're, they're hilarious. But at the same time, they're not. 
because they're part of what gets to form the the political opinion. I've had the opportunity to set, and uh, as we called it, having a beer, even though you had uh, a few beers, you and your your friend, and uh, I had Diet Coke. I got one here right now off camera. And uh, I remember talking to you guys and being impressed. I like the fact you put the gun classes together for me, of course. I really like that. That helped at a time when I needed help. But well-grounded, common sense, practical, those things that I look for in friends. Military backgrounds uh, are important to me because those are people who have made a real commitment those kinds of things and there's a whole bunch more I'd like to I'd like to know about your friends because for the most part I think they're losers I have enjoyed that Beth Beth some more or whatever she calls herself I would probably sit down and enjoy talking with her and I could actually listen I think I think away from this political crap, or even with it, with the right kind of focus, we could probably have a pretty good conversation, maybe even a little bit of fun. But for the rest of them, they're just, for the most part, they're just a bunch of dumb shits. I don't know why you allow them on your line. They don't provide facts. They don't provide evidence. They buy into the pundit political soundbite. Um, people in my life like that, I have them on my timeline, but I don't visit with them, I don't talk to them, with a couple of minor exceptions. And because I'm going to use her name, um, I'll send her a copy of this. I've come to enjoy Lisa Hunter, because after we put all the political polarization aside, we actually sat down and talked. Um, I appreciate her perspectives and her differences um, because she's sincere and honest about them when she's not doing a soundbite thing. And people like that um, have value. They help bring balance to the conversation and they help challenge the perspective so that we can take the opportunity to weigh our belief system against the real world and see if there's a balance. Uh, perhaps we're the ones that need to be adjusted in our belief systems. People like that have value, but most of your people don't. It's the same rhetoric over and over and over again. Anyway, uh, this is a one-sided conversation. Feel free to call or send me your own video letter or however you want to do this, Kevin. I enjoyed you in the past. I'll be coming in uh, four or five months back out to Oregon for a visit. And when that happens, I'll send you a note and maybe we can get together again and uh, shoot some more of the bull. You can tell lies, of course, and I'll tell the truth, right? Um, but we'll have a good time. And uh, with this mask thing, as long as you're willing to play the stupid game with them, keep digging at them. It's fun because their buttons are all on the surface. And one of the reasons why their buttons are on the surface is the only strength they really have in what they say is in the pundits. And everybody knows how weak the pundits really are. So uh, enjoy that. I have a special friend coming probably within uh, six weeks. Her name is Darla. Unbelievably grounded, former attorney. Um, and she could probably hold her own against any of the pundits. Anyway, with Darla, when, when Darla comes online, we'll do the interview and all that. I think you'll like her. But I ramble as good friends do. It was my turn to talk. 
and I'll listen when it's yours. You have a great day. Stay safe. Stay away from the people that will intellectually cripple you. You're really a great guy. Take care until the next time.